the most important person that you can be in this world is yourself. You can't be living in fear. You can't be playing by other people's rules. There are people who are being themselves, who are not like you, who are telling you how you should be because they want you to be like them. You have to understand that you are you. They are them. You are not them. You are you. So be yourself. You didn't create yourself, did you? There's never been a point where you said, I want to have this kind of perspectives about life. I want to see life this way. I want to think this way about life. There's never been a point where you, you told yourself that. You have to value your perspectives. It doesn't matter if the world is not ready for the kind of perspectives that you have. Value your perspectives. You're going to come into this world and be afraid to be who you are. Because there are people who came before you who are not like you, who feel like people who are like you are wrong. Be who you really are. Speak your truth. I remember when I started uploading videos talking about the kind of topics that I talk about now. Really controversial topics. I, t I told myself that I'm always going to be me. I don't care if other people are not going to understand me. I didn't even expect some people to understand me. I didn't. I just told myself that I'm going to be who I am because this is where I am. It's not like I chose to be the way that I am. I didn't. I didn't choose the kind of perspectives that I have. I didn't choose to see the world the way that I see the world. So why should I be ashamed of who I am if I did not create myself? Ask yourself this question. Why should you be ashamed of who you are if you did not create yourself? You did not create yourself. You understand that? The whole world can hate you, but you did not create yourself. The whole world can misunderstand you. But the truth is you did not create yourself. So there's nothing to feel ashamed about. It doesn't matter if people are not conscious enough to actually understand you. If people are not conscious enough to understand what you do. It doesn't matter. As long as you are yourself. If you do not want to be a loser in this world... Make sure that you are yourself. That is the most important thing. The most important thing is in making a lot of money. You now, people think that if you're not making money as a man, it means you are a loser. No, if you are not yourself, you are a loser. Even if you are making money, if you are not being who you are, you are a loser. People think that being alone makes you a loser. If you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you're a loser. No. If you are being yourself, you're not a loser. It is very hard to be yourself. Because there will always be people who are not going to understand you. There will always be people who will tell you that you are wrong. There will always be people who are going to hate you. There will always be people who will try to make you feel ashamed of who you are. There will always be people who will try to judge you. There will always be people who will believe that they know better. They know how a person should be. And the way that you are isn't how people should be.
You must not give other people power. What you must understand is that being alone is part of our true nature. Believe it or not, you are alone. Even when you are with other people, you are alone. No one is seeing the world through your lenses. You are the only person that is seeing the world the way that you are seeing the world. Even the people that agree with you, they are not really seeing the world the way that you see the world. You are the only person in this world that sees this world the way that you are seeing this world do you understand that and do you understand how important that is so can you imagine that you are able to see this world from your perspective and you are the only person that is seeing the world from your perspective but you don't take that seriously you're like my perspective does not matter it does not matter how I see the world. What matters is how other people see the world. So I'm not going to value my opinions. I'm not going to value my perspective. I'm going to value other people's perspectives. You see the mistake there? That's the mistake that almost every person makes. Even people... who are accepted by many people in our society, they make this mistake. In fact, the people who make this mistake a lot are the people that our society has accepted. These are the people that make this mistake a lot because they are afraid Of losing what they've gained through being accepted. You see, once society accepts you, you're going to benefit a lot. So people are afraid of losing what they've gained. So they decide that, well, I'm going to be what society wants me to be or what society expects me to be. I cannot say this. If I see something that's wrong that people are doing, I'm not going to talk about it because I might lose a lot. We've ended up with a, with a fake society. We've ended up with a society full of people that are afraid to be themselves. People who have achieved a lot in this world, they think they are the winners. No. If you are not being yourself, you are a loser. 100%. If you are afraid to speak your mind, you are a loser. Life isn't about these stupid competitions that people are involved in. There's never been about that. People are just so stupid and they are operating at a very low level of consciousness that they believe that they must be competing and win these stupid prizes that are completely meaningless. And really, the only way that they can win these stupid prizes is to like, sell their souls, to get rid of aspects of themselves that people are not going to accept. You know, it's to act. You know, they have to act. They can't really be themselves. You think celebrities are being themselves? Have you ever seen a celebrity that's really themselves? Or being themselves will go against what they represent.
you must understand that you live in a world that is against you being yourself that's why i'm telling you that if you are yourself you are not a loser because it's very hard to be yourself it is not easy it is not easy because this whole world is against you being yourself since you were a little kid you weren't encouraged to be yourself there are some things that are true that you weren't supposed to say So if you have managed to become who you really are, if you have managed to be able to speak your mind, you're not a loser. I don't care if you are homeless. I don't care if you're broke. I don't care if you have no one. You have to be okay with being alone. You have to be okay with people not understanding you. As long as you understand yourself, that is what is really important. You understand yourself. Because really being alone is part of your nature. You are alone. If other people understand you great, but if they don't, that's not a problem. You cannot be giving other people that much power. When you speak your mind, people are like, nah, something's wrong with that girl, something's wrong with that boy, something's wrong with that man, something is wrong with that woman. You can't give people so much power that when they say that, you feel ashamed. No, you shouldn't be feeling ashamed of who you are because you did not create yourself. And being alone is part of your nature. Meaning that even if you lose everyone, it's fine. If you are being yourself, you will be okay. You don't need to be with other people. You don't need people worshipping you. You don't need people telling you that you're right. It gets to a point where people do not even speak their truth. It gets to a point where people say exactly what they think people want to hear. Most of the people that you worship are not real. I'm telling you right now, most of the people that you worship are not real. <laughs> Have you seen that lady that I was saying? I'm telling you right now, that motherfucker right here is not real. <laughs> she was on a plane and... Something happened <laughs> and she started causing a scene saying that uh, some dude is not real. <laughs> that was really funny. But yeah, the people that you follow are not even real. Let me tell you a secret. People who are themselves... cannot become influencers. I know what you're thinking. No, no, no. Actually, if you are yourself, automatically you become an influencer because other people are going to be like you. No, that's not really true. Yes, there will be people who will want to be like you because they see themselves in you that's 100 percent true but really to become a real influencer to have everyone in the world saying that oh i want to be like that person that person is great you have to be fake if you are a christian there will be situations where you won't be allowed to be a christian If you're a Muslim, there will be a situation where you won't really be allowed to be a Muslim. If you're an atheist, there will be a situation where 
you won't really be allowed to be an atheist. If you're an internationalist, there'll be a situation where you're not really allowed to be an internationalist. I mean, you might not have children, but speak like people who are having children because you're in a situation that does not allow you to be an internationalist. That can happen. So really, if you want to become an influencer, you must not have your own opinions about anything. Why do you think about gay people? I mean, I don't really want to talk about that. It doesn't matter to me. You know, what I'm focusing on is this. What do you think about... The kind of music that young people are listening to. What do you think about religion? What do you think about atheism? You can't really have an opinion. You're going to always try to be neutral. Why? Because you are an influencer. If you're going to tell people how you really feel, it means that the people who do not feel like you are going to stop following you. And they're going to say, oh, I used to like that person until... That they said that my religion is not true. I didn't know that they were being used by the devil. If you want to be yourself, you, you must stop giving other people power. You must not be afraid to be alone. You must not be afraid of being judged. You must not give other people power. Hell is other people. Being alone is part of your true nature. What this really means is that you are alone. You've been lying to yourself since you were born that you know you you are with other people. That's what you told yourself. Like, oh, there are other people. That, no, you are actually alone. And you are giving other people power. And these people are not even with you. You are alone. They are not really with you. They are living their lives. You do not experience life from their perspective. You don't know what it's like to be them. But you are giving them power. You are giving them power to make you angry. Oh, this person said this about antinatalism. Oh, this person said this about veganism. Who cares? I mean, why should you care? Why give people so much power that their opinions actually matter to you? Because if you become angry when people do not agree with you, then you're saying that their opinions matter. If they're ignorant and stupid, let them be ignorant and stupid. It's their opinions, right? You are yourself. Speak your truth, regardless of how other people think about what you're saying. Live your own truth. Embody your own philosophy. Because if you're going to be fake, because you're trying to be accepted, you automatically become a loser. Do you understand how fucked up it is that you come into this world and live in fear as if you're going to be here forever? What are you trying to protect? What are you trying to protect? You can see what is going on. You, you know what is the most rational thing to do, but you're living in fear. You're like, ah, if I do this, you know, people are going to think this and that. I'm telling you. If you are making the mistake of giving other people power, you are a loser. That's it. If you are yourself and you don't care what other people think of you, you are a winner.
There are things that you'll be given in this world when you are born based on what people value in this world. If you are beautiful, people might give you money. People might give you attention. It doesn't mean that if people are not giving you money or attention, it means that you are a loser. You know, there are girls who feel like if they're in a relationship with someone, then that person must be giving them money, right? Because men are supposed to be providers. So they see these lay queens. living their so-called best life and they think why can't my boyfriend do this why can't my boyfriend they're not treated like slay queens because they've done anything important it's because of their looks and there are lots of crazy things that they have to do to even end their money They are getting the money that they're getting from these guys because of how they look. They didn't have to do anything. There are people who have achieved a lot in this world because of their charisma. They didn't have to do anything. They just were charismatic and people just loved them. They didn't have to work to get these things that they want. One of the biggest lies that you are, you know... One of the biggest lies that you are believing is that people who become very successful have really worked hard. No, man. This life is going to give you what you deserve based on how you are as a person. There's nothing to do with how hard you work. You might work hard because life has already promised you good results. It's not because you are a hard worker. Any person in this world can work hard if they've been promised great results, right? If you know that you are really good at something, you might work very hard. Not because you are better than people who are not working hard, but because you can see that, oh, if I do this, then I can win. It doesn't mean that that's really hard. It's not really hard, actually. You just trying to like, become better than everyone else. You're probably going to lose yourself in the process. Becoming yourself, that's what's really hard. Because it means that you might lose everyone. People might talk shit about you. People might end up not wanting to be seen with you. Yeah. There are some things that, if, that you feel you should say. But you know that if I say these things, I'm going to lose some people. There will be people who will never want to be seen with me again. I might end up losing my job. The person that I'm in a relationship with might leave. But if you're going to be living like that, you're living in fear. You're not being yourself. What you must realize is that You will never be satisfied unless you are yourself. Unless you are able to speak your mind. I'm telling you. You can have everything in this world. But if you are fake. You're not going to be satisfied. I know what you're thinking. Well does being yourself actually make you feel satisfied? Actually it does. There's a reason why I'm not afraid of dying. That's because I am actually satisfied like i i don't care you know i don't feel like okay there's something that is missing and you know i must try to get this thing that's missing i'm you know what i mean like i, I don't care that, that's one of the biggest reasons why i'm an internationalist i'm not at, too attached to this if it's not working it's not working you see, if it was working, I would not have a problem with this world. But it is not working. And I know that it's not working. There are some people who can see that there's so much suffering in this world. But 
because they're too attached to it, because they're not satisfied yet, they feel like if they do not have children, they'll be missing out. You see, wanting children has to do with trying to fill a void. If you want to become yourself and become free, for real, that void was going to be filled. You see, it's about you being you. You see, you've, you've been taught the wrong things since you were born. It's about making a lot of money. It's about becoming famous. It's about living in a big house. No, it's about you being you. It's about being able to speak the way that I'm speaking. I got no filters. I'm, I'm speaking the truth for real. I'm not lying to you. I don't care how other people see me. I know that there are people who know me who are watching these videos. People who know me personally who are watching these videos. I don't care. I don't care what they say about me. There are people who say that I'm demonic because of the videos that I make. You have to understand that there are some things that I say that if you are not conscious enough to understand what's really going on, you might end up judging me for these things that I say on these videos that um, I make and, and, and post on TikTok, especially the videos that I post on TikTok. But I feel free knowing that I am myself. Knowing that I'm not seeking approval from other people. Because I know that I'm speaking the truth. I know that I'm being myself. I know a lot of people who are unable to be themselves because they feel like they have a lot to lose but they're not realizing that they are losing a lot by not being themselves the only thing that you should not lose is yourself Don't worry about anything else. I'm telling you, don't worry about anything else. Don't worry about becoming broke. I'm serious. I know it's much harder when you have children. That's why being an internationalist is literally the greatest thing that you can be in this world. Literally. Like, if you can reach a level of consciousness that actually allows you to understand how important it is that you actually become an internationalist, then you're good. You are free because you don't have to take care of anyone. You didn't bring anyone into this world. So there isn't anyone that you're responsible for because you started understanding how you are imprisoning yourself and imprisoning others when you procreate because if you bring someone into a world like this in a world that is too demanding you have to take care of them i mean it's not easy to be so free that you don't even care about your children it's not easy so you will have to take care of your children you're gonna have to worry about what they're going through you're gonna have to worry about where they are And they're going to have to deal with life as well. So if you're an internationalist, you're free. You're already free. Just make sure that you are yourself. Just make sure that you don't care what other people are saying. Don't feel like what you are is so important that you must you 
you know, preserve it. Don't feel like what you are now is so important that you must preserve it. What I mean is that people are very egotistical. They have an image to protect. They want people to perceive them a certain way. So don't feel like you've got to protect that. Don't feel like you must protect your image. You must make people see you the way that you want to be seen. No, it, it's fake. It's fake. Make sure that you are yourself a hundred percent. And you don't have to be anything else. Listen, if you are yourself, automatically you have nothing to protect. Do you understand that? You have nothing to protect because you did not create yourself. You just found yourself existing. You are causing yourself a lot of pain by protecting yourself. Because you're trying to protect something that you didn't even create. And really, and this is what's crazy, by trying to protect yourself, you're not really protecting yourself. You're protecting what you feel you should be. You see? That's the mistake here. You want people to view you a certain way. So you're protecting the image that you have created of yourself that isn't even real. By being yourself, you're not going to be trying to protect anything. You're just going to be free. Because you are yourself. What's there to protect? <laughs> you see? You go back to who you really are. Because some of you are in pain. You're not in pain because you really should be in pain. You're in pain because you're trying to protect something that does not even exist. Something that exists in other people's minds. You've given people so much power that you feel like it matters how they see you no one loves me should you be worried if no one loves you why why should you be worried you are worried because you are not yourself you see you're feeling guilty because you are not yourself there's nothing to feel guilty about if you are being yourself if you are what the universe has created you to be there's nothing to feel guilty about and people can say, oh, you are contradicting yourself because if people are going to be themselves, what if they keep on reproducing? Here's the thing. A lot of people that are pro reproducing are not reproducing because they are choosing to reproduce. <laughs> In fact, having children isn't really a choice. We're just born in a society where each and every person believes that they must reproduce. That's it. We have been programmed since we were young that we must actually reproduce. Like that's that's important, you know? So we don't even get to make a choice to reproduce. We've just been conditioned to believe that we must reproduce. You see? So really most people that are reproducing are not being themselves. They are just being what society expects them to be. There are people who are in so much pain because they can't have children. You know. And it's crazy because people are so selfish. I pray that I really can't have children so that even if I make mistakes... I do not bring a child into this world. I pray to myself, of course. <laughs> there are people, man, who cry every day because they cannot have children. And they are worried about how other people see them. 
that's suffering because of that. She wouldn't really be suffering. She will be free. They shouldn't care how other people think and how other people see them. They should just live their lives and be free. Because you are who you are, man. What are you trying to protect? You're trying to protect an image that you have created of yourself that isn't even real. You don't want people to feel like you cannot have children. You know, where I live, if you cannot have children, they, people don't like really respect you like that. I know a lot of people who have allowed their wives to have sex with other men because they cannot reproduce because of respect. Not really because they just wanted to have children. No, because they wanted to be respected. They wanted to have families just like everyone else. You know, they did that out of fear. Yes, there are people who do that because they want, uh, they just want children. It can happen, but some of them are doing that because they're afraid of how other people are going to see them. Like, oh, as a man, I'm supposed to be able to have children. If I cannot have children, people are not going to respect me. And you know, where I live, people are not going to respect you. But I would not care at all if I was unable to have children. I would not care. In fact, I would consider that a blessing. That would be the dopest thing ever. You know, there have been times where, you know, I was scared. Now, there have been times when I was, like, really scared that, yo, what if I got someone pregnant? I would not be even be able to, even before I became an internationalist, you know, I, I knew at some point that I do not want to have a child, even before I became an internationalist. I just knew at some point that, now, nah, man, I'm not going to have a child. And I'll be scared. I'll be scared of bringing a child into this world because I can see that this world is sick. But because... I didn't know that there were people like me in this world. I didn't take myself seriously. I was like, okay, I, I'm not going to have children because this world sucks. But I'm not really going to be talking about it. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. And that was a mistake. I should have started talking about antinatalism even before I discovered that there was a word for what, how I was viewing the world. I should have started talking about antinatalism long, you know, like after realizing that, no, man, this world is just not good. Because I did reach this realization and alone, I was like, I'm not going to bring children into this world because this world is messed up. But I really I w was afraid of talking to people about, you know, what I was feeling. I felt like they were going to judge me. I didn't value my perspective. I didn't own my perspective, which was a serious mistake. You must be able to be yourself a hundred percent, even if it means that some people are going to attack you. There's nothing to protect. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're going to die, you know, one day. Ain't you? So really, what are you protecting? Is it better to just live in pain, not being yourself, caring what other people think of you? Because that's a prison, you see? Some of you are suffering a lot because you are in a prison that you have created for yourself. You have given people so much power. And because of that, you're suffering. When they tell you that you are, you are wrong, you do not feel good. Like, ah, this person thinks that I'm wrong. When they tell you that you're crazy, you do not feel good because you've given other people power.
the reason why when a person that you love breaks up with you you feel a lot of pain is because the whole idea of dating is about giving someone power think about it you know girls when they're in a relationship with a guy they want him to compliment them right if you are in a relationship right now as a woman you want your guy to tell you that you look good you want your guy to tell you that he loves you if you are gaining a lot of weight you don't want your guy to tell you that no 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 you don't want your guy to tell you that you see you have given him so much power that he actually can hurt you by his words if he says you're fat that can fuck you up for a very long time if he says that uh, i don't like your complexion something has happened like you know that can fuck you up if he says you're not beautiful or if he makes you feel like you're not the most beautiful girl in the world that might fuck you up if he compliments your friend that might fuck you up you've never said that i was beautiful before but you said that my friend was beautiful you know what i mean the whole thing is about giving someone power that is why it's hard to recover from a breakup see the mistake that you're making is that you're giving other people power so when they say things these things hurt you You know, if they say bad things, they hurt you. If they say things that you don't want to hear, they hurt you. If they say things that you want to hear, it makes you feel happy. No, you've given other people power. We've ended up with a society where people are just telling them, telling each other things that they feel like they want to hear. If you're in a relationship as a guy, you're like, okay, my girlfriend doesn't want to feel like she's fat. She doesn't want to feel like she's gaining weight. She doesn't want to feel like a complexion isn't good. She doesn't want to feel like she's not attractive enough. So I must always lie to her. If her brand stinks, I, I, I shouldn't tell her. Because she's going to be angry at me. When the relationship ends, he's going to tell people that, oh, he used to tell me that my breath stinks. He used to tell me as if <laughs> that's bad. No, he's trying to help you. He used to say that I was gaining weight. You know, he's toxic. He used to say that I was gaining weight. We're telling you the truth. If you are gaining weight. But I mean, yes, there are situations where, you know, people are being abused for real. By the way, by the way I know, because I, I, I think... You know, some people might misunderstand what I'm saying. No, there are situations where a person can really be abusing you for real. Oh, you're fat. You look like an elephant. No, there are lots of girls that I can be with that are more attractive. Like, yeah, that's fucking toxic. But if your boyfriend or a person that um, you're in a relationship with can, can be a woman, you know, because they're lesbians you know out there if, if the person that you're dating tells you that yo i think you're gaining weight you should work out that person is not toxic they're just telling you what they think you know you should be grateful that they're able to tell you what they think we should live in a society like that people should be able to tell me the truth without without me getting angry without fear of losing me i mean Really, shouldn't even be afraid of losing people. Just speak your truth. But, you know, I do understand that some people get too attached to other people. It happens. But listen. Don't make people that are in your life feel guilty for telling you the truth. If you can see that a person is telling you the truth, don't feel guilty. Don't make them feel guilty, I mean. 
because that's what's really important is that people are themselves people are honest because we are living in a fake society this society is not working and one of the reasons why it's not working is because people are fake how many people have you met that are actually real how many people have you met that are actually able to speak their minds people that are able to tell you how they really feel there are people who would rather gossip than tell people the truth There are people who are in a relationship who would rather gossip about their partner than telling them the truth. They would rather tell their friends, like, ah, man, this person does this, this person does that, but they're not telling that person. You see? This is the kind of world that we live in for real. People gossip a lot. They lie a lot because they can't tell people how they really feel. People who are able to tell other people how they really feel don't gossip. I don't gossip. For real, like I do not gossip. There is a person that knows me that will tell you that I gossip about other people. I don't gossip about other people. I got nothing bad to say about other people because I tell them to their faces. Like, hey man, I don't like this. This sucks. And I'm not afraid to be alone. If I see, sometimes I, I don't tell people the truth, but I just stay the fuck away from them. I'm not just, I'm not going to be fake. If I say that, okay, this person is not even ready for the truth. It's not even fear. It's just intelligence because you've got to be intelligent. Be yourself, but also be intelligent. That's also very important because there are situations where you are unable to tell people the truth because you're afraid of how um, you think they're going to react. But there are situations where you just be like, ah. It's completely pointless. I don't have to tell this person anything. I should just stay the fuck away from them. That's the best thing to do in this situation. You know? But the good thing is that you're not afraid of losing them. You're not living in fear. You haven't given them so much power. You've just realized that, okay, some things just don't matter. You know? shouldn't be living in fear man you shouldn't be a coward especially now because you don't have a lot to lose by speaking the truth you just lose other people so what you become yourself more you see the thing is the more you lose people the more you become yourself the easier it will be for you to be yourself the more people say, oh, that person is crazy, that person is the most demonic, the easier it would be for you to be yourself. You see? Look, if people treat you like you're perfect or you are exactly what they want you to be, it will be much harder for you to become yourself because you're going to be trying to please them. Be like, Ish. you know, I don't want to disappoint this person. You know, this person thinks I'm this and that, so I don't want to disappoint them, you see? But if you are really your... If you lose these people, you, you won't care because there's no one to disappoint. You see? That is why you must always work on being yourself. When you are being fake, you should be able to realize, okay, okay now, now I'm being fake. You know? I shouldn't be fake. I should be real. I should be honest. I should be honest with myself. When I do things, I should be honest about my intentions. Why am I doing these things that I'm doing? Am I doing these things because I'm afraid? Am I doing these things for approval? Do I want... other people to think that I'm so great, my life is so wonderful. So I find myself doing a lot of fake shit. There are a lot of people who are doing a lot of fake shit because they want other people to think that their lives are great. I've seen that a lot, actually. People are afraid to be themselves. You know, they're afraid to be vulnerable, to say, oh, this is who I really am. This is where I'm at. 
this is how I view the world. This is what I've been through. This is what I understand. People are afraid to be vulnerable. You know, I'm not saying you should be vulnerable because sometimes you can be vulnerable because you are seeking approval from other people. Like, it's really about your intentions, right? Are you being vulnerable because you want other people to... show you a lot of love you know to feel compassion for you and stuff like that or are you being vulnerable because it matters to you that you actually speak the truth like intentions are very important you know there are people who actually speak the truth about what they've been through because they want approval from other people it happens Because it works, you know, if, if, if a woman is being raped, she might talk about her experience, not really because what she has been through is still affecting her today, but because she's like, oh, I'm going to get a lot of attention talking about this shit, you know, it happens a lot. Some women will even lie about getting raped. Because they know that they're going to get a lot of attention. A lot of people are going to show them a lot of love and support. A lot of people are going to give them attention. So really, before you do something, ask yourself, am I doing this for attention? Am I doing this because I want other people to say that they understand what I'm saying? Or is it more about me being who I really am? That's like, this is part of who I am. You know, sometimes when I make videos, I want people to not agree with me. There are videos that I make, like, okay, I know this is going to go over many people's heads. They're not going to agree with me. It's still the truth, but they're not going to agree with me because I want to debate with them, you know. Like the video that I made where I was talking about I about sex, where I was saying that I don't think sex should be nice. I think it should be very painful. So that only the people who want to have children will have children. He said, like, a lot of people didn't agree with what I was saying. Even internationalists did not agree with what I was saying. That was the point. That was the whole point. I was like, okay, I want to say something that is true, but I want to debate with people. You see, it was never about people saying that, oh, you are right. I was just speaking the truth. And I wanted to speak more truth because when people debate with me, I'm actually able to think of more truth. You see, if you say, oh, you're wrong about this, I'm able to think, oh, okay, you think I'm wrong because of this and that. So I'm going to come up with the truth that's much deeper than what I was saying. So you understand that, oh, this motherfucker is real. This motherfucker is speaking the truth. But it's never really about people really saying that I'm speaking the truth or people really understanding me. It's about me being who I am. Not me not being ashamed of being who I am. That's what it's really about. Me not living in fear. What you must understand is that you are a human. You're going to feel fear. But don't live in fear. You're going to feel anxious, but don't allow your anxiety to control you. You see? You're going to feel like you want other people to support you. You're going to feel like you want other people to be with you, but don't allow that to control you. Be yourself. Keep on working on being yourself. You're going to reach a point where you really don't care whether people are with you or not. You see, learning to be okay with being alone is very, very important. Not seeking 
for approval is very very important because being who you really are is part of your nature you know that's what's natural for you you are yourself you've always been alone so be yourself wherever you go be yourself don't just become yourself when you're alone and you feel like you've got nothing to lose don't get to attach to things that don't even matter it's like being in a dream and giving your dream character power you see this happens a lot like you're in a dream and you give the dream characters power it does happen to me sometimes because I sometimes forget how important it is that I am myself. So I forget even when I'm dreaming. You see, that I, I sometimes I do have dreams where I remember that. So I don't give them power at all. But sometimes I do forget. That's why it's important that you keep on reminding yourself that you are, you're, you are really being yourself. You're not doing the things that you're doing for approval. You're not trying to fit in. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with you being you. Being 100% you. Imagine being in a dream and giving the dream characters power. Whatever they say affects you. It's, no, the whole experience is not even real, but the things that they're saying are affecting you. You see, like, you can't be living in fear, man. Some of you are feeling more pain than you need to be feeling in this world because of that. Uh, this world itself is, is a prison. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a prison, but... Most of you are not necessarily suffering because this world is a prison. You are actually suffering because you have created another prison or you have become a prisoner in a prison that society has created for you. And you consented to that. That's something that you must realize. You told yourself that it matters how other people see me. So because of that, you create, you, you became a prisoner. You see? You consented to that. I do understand that. You've been getting programmed since you were young to... feel safe in this prison that society has created for you but you're still consented and if you want to be free now then you've got to work on being yourself no matter what even if it means that people are going to talk shit even if it means that people are going to judge you there's this other girl that took her own life because her sex tape got leaked girl that i know i was like really listen i'm not you know you know how i feel about suicide you know i i don't blame people who do take their own lives but some people take their own lives because They're afraid of being judged or they've given other people so much power. That can happen, you see. Not really because they're, they, they're ready to die or anything like that. Something has happened and they're ashamed. You know, they, they, the people see them the way that they do not want to be seen by them. So, you know what I mean? So, you've got to be so free that even if something like that happens, you don't give a fuck. You're like, all right. Because why should you care? Ask yourself that. Your sex tape got leaked. Why should you care? Why should you care? You didn't even create yourself. So what's there to protect? You see? You, you've, you've just became a prisoner in a prison that society has created for you. Society has told you that, oh, it matters. It matters. We must laugh at you. We must make you feel like a slut. So you are a slide or whatever, but really.
It doesn't matter how other people see you. It doesn't matter what they think of you. What matters is what you think of yourself. Thank you all guys.